on YouTube. Uh, so some followers to the stream. Jimbledon, uh, thank you for the follow. That was 12 minutes ago. Then we had a couple of off-stream uh, follows from Ajax, Nipley, happily average racer. Uh, the best application of uh, Dylan and some other word, Dildo86. And <laughs> Huds21. Yeah, I know some it. of those boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Regan Herbert currently on top. Stream just froze for a second. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know what else is actually up. Oh, you know what it might be. I'm, I'm going to have to stop the, the stream to the Discord, guys. That might help. A bit of bandwidth. A bit of bandwidth. Yep. Hopefully that fixes it up a little bit. No. No, uh, maybe. Probably their upload. We'll go with that. Yeah, let's blame them. <laughs> it's it's sort of, my, uh, it's way my, easier. <laughs> my upload is uh, sitting around 4,000 to 6,000. So, hopefully that's uh, helping. Looks like it has. So, good stuff. Probably Dildo whinging. He's got shit into it, so he's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's his own fault. But. Yeah, that's true. So, times are getting pretty close <laughs> at the moment. Uh, Herbert East mobs all within uh, three tenths of each other. So, we might try and find someone who's about to start a lap and we'll go on board with him. Uh, Nicholas Macbeth, that'll do. Close enough. Let's give the poor computer a minute. <laughs> So we're heading up towards turn number one. Very fast approach. Use all the entry space you can. Tip it into turn one. Monster the curb. Uh, through turn two. And now uh, straight through turn three. Very long right hander. It seems to just go on forever. You've got to pick that point to, uh, to just pick up the throttle. Otherwise, you run wide. Turn four. Watch the. Uh, Slideshow stream. Oh god. That's interesting. Ah, we'll sort this out in a second. Close that steam. Uh, no, I haven't got anyone else in my house, Ozzy. Oh, no, that looks like it's done it. Streams working now. Oh, okay. Well, I might just have to. We may have to forego the predictions tonight. I think, gentlemen. We can make our own predictions and we can make our own keep chat away from it. <laughs> oh, well, that's a shame. Whatever you did, just did. It's silky, silky smooth now. Ah, oh, that's good. Okay, we won't touch anything. Yeah, don't breathe. No one breathe, we fix the stream. Now, I hate this last chicane, honestly. Uh, it's something that I really struggle with, uh, just getting the curbs right. Um, but, uh, well, Nicholas sort of uh, demonstrated it. You just get those sausage curbs a little bit, and, yeah, it just pops the car up into the air. So we watch Macbeth tip it into turn one. Uh, he's currently seventh in the session. A lot of drivers starting to turn up in the server right now. I'm seeing David Thornton out there as well, the number 16. Mongrel, he stole my number, actually. As ever, in the Lexus. to just turn down some settings again guys uh, that's unfortunate I think I've lost my co-commentators as well uh, no I'm here oh you're here oh good yeah uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just trying to listen to this Aston Martin because it sounds amazing <laughs> yeah absolutely love the Aston it's a brilliant car oh no we don't want the epic Let's see if that helps you want the unepic option? God no, we're, we're streaming on Ethernet. Learned that lesson a long time ago. 
And that seems to have made it worse for me. Interesting. Someone says change res to 180 or 1080, sorry. 1080. Uh, or 180. 720. I hope this works. Nope, that didn't work. Uh, enabled. Run the server. Nope. Nope. This is uh, this is another leg. We don't do it. So, let's see if that. Let's see if that helps. Fix up the stream. Hopefully that uh, that fixes everything. God, I hope it fixes everything. <laughs> um, it seems smooth. It's just that the game captures not full screen. Yeah. I think I just fixed it, didn't I? Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. Takes a while. Well, Thorn at the top of the table now as well. 145.4. Don't know if that's a good time or not, but it seems good. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just say it's again. good. <laughs> then again, it is practice, which yeah. means everything. Oh yeah, of course. If you if you're not winning practice, you're not even trying. Let's be honest. Yeah, exactly. And I appear not to be able to bring up my chat now. Ah, uh, fun and games. Yeah, good thing I uh, did a test stream before this uh, this night. <laughs> uh, it looks like it's paid off. Ah, uh, well. Uh, let's see if we can't find... Uh the man in second at the moment, 717, and that is uh, Mike East in the Bentley. Now, I've sort of noticed a few things. Uh, maybe some of the older versions of the Bentley, and maybe some older cars as well out there tonight, which is uh, interesting to see. Yeah, you do have the, um, what is it, the Aston Martin DB9, I think it is? I don't know. The good one. That's quite old. I will say, I, th I would think there would be more Porsches out, but I guess not. Yeah, I'm a bit surprised that we don't have uh, more Porsches out there. Um, I'm actually more surprised that there aren't more Aston Martins. I'm so used to seeing uh, maybe six, seven or eight Aston Martins out on track. And uh, so far, it looks like we've only got uh, four. Yeah, it looks quite even, like uh, manufacturer was. Uh, well, I'm, something else I'm surprised about, not seeing Audis. Audi is usually yeah. a super popular car, as uh, oh, Herbert it goes actually up into second. Thornton dips into the 45s with about six and a half minutes left to go in practice. And part of why, I'm pretty certain that uh, some really quick times would be around the 43s. Uh, I would say that track temperature being 19 degrees is not helping these guys this evening. But, uh, It's only practice, of course, as East actually tumbles down the leaderboard. He's now down in sixth place. Sixth place, uh, top seven, covered by half a second. That is that is awesome. What's the fastest time at the moment? Uh, Forty-five two six five by Van uh, Van Vil God, I'm going to butcher this name. Van Vliet. 
Uh, he is in car 424, which is a Lamborghini. 45.2, that's beaten the real life lap record by five tenths of a second. So it must be good. So then Blair tips it around this, uh, I forgot the corner we're up to, turn three, turn four, turn five, turn six, turn seven, turn eight, turn nine. Uh, Just call it that turn. That turn, yep. Or Renault or something? Nine? Where's nine? Uh, it's that Wrist big... Uh, that's the big sweep. Yeah, oh, that's the, the, the other sweeper way. going oh, up nine. the hill. So, yeah. Uh, so it's, it's, it, that is a, it's a tricky tricky corner to get right. That's, yeah. That curb uh, really does shake the cars around. As, uh, well, Ben Blair sort of shakes himself around over the curbs in the chicane as East goes up into provision, well, top of the time sheets, I should say. We're only in practice, so we can't say provisional pole. That's uh, getting a bit ahead of myself. One thing I'll say with the BMW M4, when you're looking at it from far away with tie beams shining directly into your eyes, it actually looks okay from a distance. The front end, Mo at least. <laughs> they all do. So, what, what you're saying is that we need to have this all the races at pitch black night before we can accept the yeah. BMW. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll just invest in the front bolts. end of it. We'll invest in blindfolds. Go yeah. race promotions, blindfolds. Uh, you could wear like six um, sunglasses and have a look at it. Might that, work. That's. Um, I think that's a bit extreme. Uh, Aussie Motorsport League, do I use OBS to broadcast on? Yes, I do. We all do. Is, is there another way to stream? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, there's a, oh. there are a few others, but... but Shh. You dear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forget the name of them. That's how popular, that's how often I use them. Yeah. <laughs> so as Adrian Rice tips through the chicane, jump on board with him to see what how he's looking. Uh, he will actually go top of the time sheets again. So now those times are starting to tumble. Let's say we're seeing some drivers uh, rehearsing some rehearsing some qualifying laps now that we're getting into the 44s, especially with these track conditions. Not a lot of performance out there for the, tra for the cars. Yeah, so they've completely thrashed the real life record on this track, which is. <laughs> uh, that, that, that's that's kind of standard for sim racing. Um, I, I'm pretty certain I've seen uh, some people in the 43s, as Thornton goes 44.7. So we're definitely in uh, qualifying rehearsal stage. Also, following, we've got uh, Sam Bracken out there as well in the. Solitary Porsche out there. And that is so surprising. Normally Porsches are super, super popular. Yeah, there, be there's always I'll been uh, so there's always been a good spread in the shakedown boys. There's always been a couple of, of most. You know, and, and it's the same guys using the same sort of cars. The you know the like the Gortinis boys they're they're always in their Bentley, you know, through and through enthusiast motorsport. And, uh, yeah, I think there's never really one overly... Well, they don't swap around too much, you know? Like the, they just get really good at their car. Well, well that's what I like to think is a, is a good theory. I've always stuck with the Nissan GTR, but it's um, not really working for me at the moment. Supposedly, I'm, well, I am going to be racing tomorrow night in Octane, and I'm still a second off the pace at Bloody Monza. Oh, we have a car off the track there. That was uh, Regan Herbert. Uh, he's binned himself there. So he's just returned to pit lane and uh, he'll probably... No, he won't go out because uh, we've only got 50 seconds on the clock. 
Uh, Cameron Norris. The Shadow Realm entry. Uh, certainly fits uh, fits the team name. Uh, good to see Cameron out there having a run. He's been the man basically that I've been speaking to about uh, getting involved with broadcasting for Shakedown. I'm just going to call him that Lando Norris, honestly, because kind of makes Lando, sense. That's, I think he'd like that. I mean, he is in a McLaren, which makes it a bit like more ironic, I guess you could say. Uh, coincidental, I think, but uh, I think he'll take Lando Norris. I don't think anyone it's will not... complain about being called Lando. Uh, th there is one problem. He's number 666, which is a bit... No, 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 it's fine. You sure? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, uh, just yeah. the number of the I'll, I'll get back to you um, when he spins out on the race. Then. Yeah. Uh, if, he, if he rolls it, it'll be a triple nine. It'll be okay. That's Good point. Works, right? Let's hope he rolls it then. <laughs> oh, we shouldn't say that. Uh, so still just <laughs> one car on the track, and that is Mike East in Bentley. He's going pretty well. Uh, three tenths off the pace of of Rice. Uh, in fact, uh, let's see if he can finish the lap off for us. That, that is pitch black. I, I love night racing, but... Uh, Jeez, I hate the lack of light. That doesn't even make sense. Oh, he runs it wide there. You've got to be careful of track limits at that particular corner. Um, very easy just to tick over some track cuts or track limit warnings. It's very aggressive over that curve before the uh, final loop. We're heading into the stadium section now and into everyone's favourite chicane. Tips it in nicely, pulls it up. Not too aggressive with those curbs. Nice and wide on the exit. Tips it through the final corner. This uh, might be a decent time. And, well, we don't see, uh, see any results there. So we'll turn to the garage and we'll just have a look at the timetables quickly. Well, it's uh, quite a long lap, but it's now daytime, so... It's really <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, it took a little day to do it, wow. <laughs> so while we're waiting for people You're to just right head out and do their, I guess, their first, well, warm-up lap for qualifying, we'll run through the schedule tonight. So we have got a 30-minute race after this first 10-minute qualifying session. Then we head into a second qualifying session, which I believe has got some special conditions as well, doesn't it, Naptic? Yes. I'm not sure what they are, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That that kind of backfired on me. I was kind of hoping that you would, be, you would like take the lead there and say, "Yeah, we got these these um, restrictions." Uh, I know that um, uh, I know that uh, Cameron sent them to me, but I can't for the life of me. Really <laughs> yeah, we never read their stuff anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, we like drive. We like race drivers. We don't read sub rigs. Um, and then we round out the night with another 30 minute race after the second qualifying session. So anyway, let's head to the track and it is RJ Robertson who will be leading the field around the track. Track's a little bit warmer, 23 degrees track temperature, 23 degrees air temperature, no wind whatsoever, which is uh, quite surprising. Like, what, what are we what are we thinking for for pole? Like we saw some 44s, but now the track's warmed up. We have got some more light. People can see the apex is better. Do you reckon a 43 is possible? Yeah, might be a stretch, but or, or not. <laughs> oh, yeah. How many how many aliens have we actually got on the server right now? Uh, I know Thornton's one. I, I've raced with him, and he just obliterates anything he drives somehow. Uh, I'm thinking the the M the M4 might be one of the cars to beat out there. Certainly, uh, the second the second race just there is a reverse uh, top ten reverse grid. Ah, oh, there you go. After a five minute break, they they don't they don't say do another quality save, but there's a 
top ten reverse grid, and then the bottom pack just fired out as normal. Ah, okay. Excellent. Uh, so we got Piper in chat. He's saying mid forty three. Uh, I think mid forty three <coughs> as well. Uh, oh, dildo. Uh, have I driven the Datsun since the update? Yes, I have, and it's uh, it's a little bit easier to drive now, but still a pain to set up. So, Pretty good name. The Datsun. Um, uh, nah, the, the one uh, oh, the, the speaking those comments. Yes, uh, you can just say dildo, it's fine. I don't <laughs> care, I'm just, I'm just gonna, um, say the one, that, that guy. Say it. Nah, say it. I don't want to. No, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're, not we're not talking about the sex toy, we're literally talking about the guy's name. <laughs> he, he is a bit of a sex toy, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you're liking this, aren't you? You're on my stream, you can insult my viewers, it's good. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, uh, Robertson has bailed out of that lap, but don't know. I didn't actually see what he did wrong. Ah, oh, yes, dilemma. Right. <laughs> anyway, Adrian Rice uh, tops the leaderboard for now, 45-2. Uh, immediately followed by Macbeth. He's four tenths slow. Mobs in third. Uh, Noble moves up to fourth. So, mm. right now it's just a uh, line of stern as uh, everyone starts crossing the line. I have a suspicion that a few drivers may have just exceeded track limits. Um, oh, Robertson, 22 seconds off. Oh, that's right, he bailed out of the lap. Yeah. Uh, Van Vlei going up to the top, 45-1. And then immediately eclipsed by Regan Herbert with a 45-0-5-0. So, times are starting to come in already. Getting close yeah, it could well be a 43 that doesn't get recorded, so yeah, it could be touch and go, especially if you're pushing it that hard. It'd be Before interesting to see some sector. of the uh, some of the ones that don't don't make the time. It'd be quite good to see what that time would have been yeah. if they got a corner cut or. It's so painful when you get a corner cut just for running a little bit too wide. As Thornton goes to 44.9, we're getting ever closer to that 43 barrier. Still got a long way to go as uh, East rolls into fifth place. So only Thornton, the, uh, the only driver to dip into the 44s at this stage. And uh, he, I think, I think that plate might be a little bit wrong. He's, uh, he's definitely a pro. Can't see him remaining as an AM driver for very long in this server. Quickly duck over to car 300. Derek Mobs in one of the only Astons out there. That's another surprise. The Aston is usually very popular. He goes up to sixth. Uh, I have to say, before the update, the Aston was already a very comfortable, very consistent car to drive. After the update, it must be must have improved sevenfold, at least tenfold, I should say. Well, oh, say the first, uh, second, and third. What well, we know Vanny was in wasn't up there though the first sector times were exactly the same with the 29.530 and then uh pretty close seconds and pretty close thirds 30 30 34.8 and a 34.9 for the last sectors which give them uh pretty much 0 0.005 of a second between second and third that was first that was first and second but now it's second and third with billet coming in and bloody banging 0.3 of a second on them so the Lexus and the Lamborghini, she's pretty close. Yeah, not too far off them uh, is the BMW as well. As uh, speaking of the devil, the Lexus goes straight back to the top. Thornton at 44.5. It's, uh, I don't know, I don't think we're going to hit a 43 anymore. So we're starting to get to the business end of qualifying. This is, usually we start seeing some really quick times <laughs> Uh, well before the three minutes to go stage and then everyone just starts scraping thousands of a second to um, claim the top spot they're probably just sandbagging <laughs> they're sandbagging that's the excuse for everything with sandbagging to take the sandbags yeah, yeah, off yeah. it'll be final lap 
Rice still not able to get to the 44s and join that party. And in fact, he's going to bail out of this lap. And that sh might be the end of his session because he won't be able to get around for another lap. This must be Thornton's first race. I don't see him in the standings at all. Prediction 44 flat from Dildo. Half a second is dream. Never say never. You, you just can't knock the <laughs> aliens. They will find something. They always find something. It's painful. It's infuriating. But at the same time, you can't help but admire them. watching Derek Mobs in the Aston. In fact, let's jump on board and listen to this. This has to be the best sounding GT3 car out there at the moment. And while we're listening to that, Thornton has crept a little bit closer to the 43 mark of the 44 360. See if anyone else can go faster. Regan Herbert's, Herbert, sorry, has uh, ducked into the uh, into the 44s as well. He's uh, jumped up onto the front row provisionally with a minute to go. As Rose just gets around those curbs nicely. That's risky there, grabbing that uh, curb at the final corner. And Mobs is unable to improve. That'll be the end of his session. He decides to back out of it. Uh, let's see if we can't find something. We'll, we'll join David Thornton and see if he can't improve again. And this is what I love about ACC. You've got the helicopter cam. It's great. Oh, he's run it in very deep into the hairpin. That's going to cost him time. He runs super wide. I wouldn't be surprised if that's a track limit warning. He's got a couple of Nissans in front of him. Uh, that is Waddle and Bradley. I think they might interfere with this lap just a little bit, although I'm not seeing, I'm not sure that anyone else can really uh, threaten Thornton's time. And Thornton finishes his session along with Waddle and Bradley. See if uh, John Slow. Now, I don't think he's, I don't think his name matches him because he does seem normally quite quick in the Bentley. At least that's, normally quick. Well, yeah. well, I mean, yeah. he does post a lot on Facebook in the Assetto Corsa group and uh, usually they're quite decent times, but uh, just struggling a little bit tonight, I think, maybe. Don't see a 44 flat. I'm going to pour another glass of red. Uh, Dildo, <laughs> get that glass ready. As slow. With those sorts of turns, you really have to think about the last corner, not the entry. And unfortunately, John didn't quite get that right. And 46 1. Yeah, he's going to be a bit disappointed with that, I think. See if Adrian Rice can improve and topple. No, he can't. Can the triple six of Cameron Norris do anything? I don't know, it's going to have to be an almighty lap. And he's grabbing that curb. Got to stay off that curb, really. Especially in the McLaren. And he does not improve, so he stays 12th. So there it is. Pretty close. Very close in the middle of the top 10. In fact, all the way down to the top 10, separated by less than a second. So... That's not the camera I wanted, but that's okay. We will instead run through our field. So, pole sitter is David Thornton. I'm honestly, not really surprised. He is a very quick driver, and he knows this Lexus like the back of his hand. Uh, off the second position on the front row is... Uh, Regan Hu Herbert, sorry, Hubert. I keep calling him Hubert for some reason. Why do I do that? 
Uh, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Hubert, <laughs> Herbert, it's, it just rolls off the tongue a little bit. Uh, Van Vleer in third. Sam Bracken off a of fourth. Row number three, we have Matterford and Rice. Uh, row four, we have Macbeth and Mobs. Uh, East and Noble bring up row five. Uh, row six, Robertson and Nice Robertson. That's a bit of a surprise for the championship leader down there in 11th. Then we have John Slow and Huddy. Waddle and Bradley bring up the rear of the field in the Nissan GTRs. I I'm not supposed to play favourites, but uh, I am very disappointed in the two Nissan drivers. You're, you're supposed to be representing the greatest car in GT3, guys. Sort of do. <laughs> Well, anyway, field sets off on their warm-up lap. And Bullermeister, holy crap, didn't realise you streamed this too. Mate, this is the first time we've uh, streamed Shakedown. And honestly, I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, Dave is not as comfortable in the Lexus as you would think. Hmm, bit of insider knowledge there, but uh, it's not slowing him down because... Uh, there's a hole. So, what should we expect from uh, this first race, um, Captain? <coughs> well, the first corner is can be uh, fairly exciting in the, in the last few rounds. I think a couple of rounds back, we uh, Bathurst due the big a big first corner. Uh, they, they definitely don't want to give anything away and they will try and take everything it's a it's a it's a get a good spot get a good hold for the rest of the race that was a longer race too so uh we we would expect that the shorter races get a bit more aggressive there there is some argy bargy which is uh, excellent we want to, i want to I, I like seeing rivalries created in racing i think that's one of the you know the, the fans love it really and uh yeah at about midway to three courts, you'll see some uh, some slight mishaps from uh, going too deep, a bit of tyre wear, catching the drivers out. So it's a bit of a full game. So what you're saying is that um, for turn one, I should really be pre-preparing uh, some golden bins to hand out in the chat. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah always, it wouldn't always be the first time we restarted a server. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hopefully that doesn't happen and we have a nice, clean run through Turn 1. Um, we've, we've had some good runs of late on this channel with uh, GT Club. And then AK Racing in the Minis. Well, let's let's not talk about the Minis in Townsville. I mean, it went, for, it went well for me, at least. <laughs> well, everyone was crashing uh, before Turn 1 of Townsville, which was uh, interesting. Anyway, the field's starting to bunch up now as we head towards the chicane. Thank God for ghosting, because we shouldn't see any contact here. Although we're getting very close. Anyway, we're about set to start. So around the final corner. Queen turn one. Got my fingers crossed, but I've also got three golden bins <laughs> pre-written in the chat. <laughs> as we get set for a start. We are away and racing. It looks like an even start from the front, although Herbert seems to have gotten the whole shot initially down the front straight. Uh, Thornton slides back into second. He tucks up behind Herbert's car, goes for the outside. Interesting decision there for Thornton. And the rest of the field streams through. I think we might be clean. New cars running wide. Rice getting up onto the uh, sausage curbs in the centre. And here we go. It's around. Oh, one no three cars out almost four and rice and unfortunately john slow getting collected as well and one of the mclarens too so you know what there you go there's some golden bins for there for that one there and adrian rice still trying to work his way around uh to get back onto the track somehow he is our leader according to the timing splits but yeah. uh, it is regan herbert <laughs> who has taken the early hole shot he's got thornton all over the back of him Oh, that was the camera I wanted. There we go. So we're looking at the back of Herbert's worn tire tribe car Lamborghini. Ooh. Someone, ooh, someone's else. Seven and, eight, seven and eight have just had a bit of a touch. 
Didn't, they didn't like it. So Nicholas Macbeth and Robertson. Robertson's not there. Where is Robertson? See, he's still trying to pick his way through the field. Our championship leader. He's got one of the Nissans firing it up the inside. That was a decent send from Jordan Waddle. Yeah, every, every send in a Nissan and uh, the Daddy is a decent send, I think. Well, it's so stable on the brakes that you can just uh, just yeet it up the inside of, uh, of, of a lot of other drivers. Clearly it's party trick, isn't it? It certainly is. And uh, it's not over for Robertson, because he's got John Slow, who's uh, already caught the back of these guys after being uh, involved in that lap one carnage. Got East on Bracken into turn one at the moment. Pretty easy move, it looks like. Uh, East there, he's still, still ahead of Bracken. Thornton, incidentally, fastest lap of the race on lap one somehow. And uh, it looks like Van Delay is uh, just sort of uh, settling into a steady rhythm. He's, uh, I think he's quite happy sitting there just a second off the back of Thornton. Maybe he's hoping that uh, Thornton and Herbert will get stuck into each other. And that will bring them back to him. Oh, who's that going wide? That's Matterford. That'll leave him vulnerable to East and Bracken as we make our way down the back straight towards the hairpin before the stadium section. Look out the back of Matterford. He's going to have to go defensive. This might not be a good decision from him, though. As East looks around the outside, he'll try and set up a switch back. He's going to be vulnerable now from Bracken as I keep pressing the wrong buttons. I, I really do miss using my mouse to select the cars. And they're still side by side. Matterford runs wide. This will allow East up the inside and Bracken as well. Great exchange here. This is for fourth place. And East now takes the position away from Matterford. Brad uh, Bracken not able to um, to capitalise on any of that, unfortunately. And he remains in sixth. <coughs> we have a car in pit lane. That's Mobs. I think he may have been one of the drivers involved in lap one carnage. And he's just decided to market for this race. Try again with race two. I will swap back to our leaders David Thornton and Regan Herbert as Herbert's going defensive so Thornton has uh, really got Herbert on the ropes here. If you're new to this channel on, on Twitch, what I've always liked to say uh, for one of the best bit of advice I actually got given when I was racing uh, carts was uh, if you're chasing someone, don't try to catch them. Just stick to a rhythm and let their mistakes bring you back into it. And then when you catch them, most of the time you're just going to have to wait for them to make a mistake. And it's so hard to keep that discipline. Uh, so that is one of the challenges that Thornton is really going to have to face here. He really wants to try and keep the pressure on Herbert. He can't afford to just push too hard and think he can get away with just shaving a millimetre off his line, uh, especially through that chicane, because that's when you start making those little mistakes, and little mistakes they tend to accumulate, shall we say. Yeah, I always would like to say have faith in your pace. You know, you're... you're you get all a bit flustered when you're catching up with someone. And it's been a trick that some drivers will do when they see someone coming. They'll slow down a wee bit, let them get a wee bit closer, and then they start pushing that wee bit more, and they and they end up falling off. But it's, hey, have trust in your, have faith in your pace, and just do your race, you know, just, and you you finish where you finish. When you start changing stuff to suit other drivers, is, is generally when you make your mistakes. Have faith in your pace. I like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna adopt that. That's good. That's yeah, a, no worries, mate. Yeah, that, that's a freebie for me. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so right on cue, Thornton right on the back of Herbert now. 
And he's showing the nose. He's just moving around in the mirror, just putting the pressure on Herbert. We saw Herbert make a little mistake through turn one. Now we're seeing Thornton getting a little bit ragged over the curbs. Oh, he gets a little bit wrong there. Just getting maybe... Saved a, it. Yeah, just maybe getting a little bit excited there. Van has got the best seat in the house, I have to say. Though I'm sure he would prefer he was a little bit closer. And as I say that, he rips half a second out of these guys in that middle sector. Look out the back of Regan Herbert's uh, Lamborghini. And uh, I think in this last section, this uh, stadium section, this is where the Lamborghini really does shine because this is where you need that agility. And the uh, mid-engine Lambo, well, that'll be easier to rotate than the big heavy Lexus. See Thornton just tucked into the slipstream. He's gaining slowly, but just not fast enough. Oh, I've got East with the fastest lap as well. Coming to the line. 44.6, last lap. Here we go again. Thornton lining himself up for a move into turn number four. Pulls out of the slipstream. He just ducks back in. I think that's a little bit pointless. Either go for the move, or... Or, or don't. Now he's going to force Herbert tight into turn number five. He actually runs Herbert a little bit oh, wide, a little bit of contact. And now they're side by side as they make their way up to the... Oh, little they bit of contact again. Oh, good and slip. Readdresses the eager man. I think he might have just been off settled, a little bit unsettled by the contact, so he had to get out of it. But uh, that was a fairly... Spirited exchange, so we say, between our two leaders. It was good. Uh, Herbert, that, that would more than likely be a um, track limit strike there. It's just got to be careful. Had a really bad run through the stadium section and Thornton will be all over him down the back straight. We'll jump on board. Thornton will have the slipstream down the front straight. He's a lot closer this time and he is gaining, gaining, gaining. He's Herbert moves to the inside. So the pressure is on Herbert. He's, I think he's got a tiny little bit of oversteer on the brakes. Is anyone else noticing that? I'm noticing that he's watching his mirror a lot now. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, if, I, suppose, that, <coughs> I suppose. I suppose. Tell you, Mr. Brake Maker. Mm. I suppose if uh, this is Thornton's first uh, appearance in um, in Shakedown, uh, I suppose there's no history for Herbert, and he's just sort of uh, eh, don't know what I can, how I can trust this guy, how much I can give to him. I uh, don't know his strengths, don't know his weaknesses, so maybe a bit of unfamiliarity with his competitor. Hey, Cheesy. So, Anton Chez looking for this league now. Okay, well, uh, mate, uh, Shakedown is on Facebook. Um, I believe it's a closed group, isn't it? Uh, I'm sure if you apply, any any one of the admins there will just let you in straight away. Depending on how much uh, how much Wang Herbert is running, he won't get caught easily on the straights. Well, I don't know. We're, we're seeing that Thornton, he's uh, that Lexus is pretty quick in a straight line. The slip chain would help though. He did reel a in a wee bit there. Say, but you got Lambo power, oh, but this looks like it's going right to be a move. It's going to be defensive support. It's going to keep him around the outside. Uh, I'm getting a feeling. Oh, the switch. I'm getting a feeling that there is an express post send about to be mailed to Herbert soon. And I think it's going to be after turn three. Maybe not this lap, but it's definitely coming. Now, Herbert's. 
he he won the last time he raced. He's had he's had one race. He raced in Mount Power on a Panorama in the Bath Burst. He won that, and, and this is his second time out. So he's one for, one for one. He's won every race he's been at so far. He does know uh, he does he does know how to keep pace on, and maybe keep someone behind him. Uh, at that panorama, was it as close a race as this one, though? Uh, I can't really remember from about halfway. I tell you what, who is flying east? Here's that Bentley in the background there. This thing is flying. He is catching these guys. He's catching Van Vlei. He's catching Thornton. Uh, he's just sort of snuck under the radar a little bit, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah a little bit. Oh, Thornton's gone onto the gravel. Coming out. Of um, that corner, <laughs> you just get set breathing space. You, you don't see, you don't see Herbert making those sort of mistakes. He's pretty clean. Pretty clean. He'll do it all day. He's got a bit of a bit of breathing space now. Let's see what lap time uh, uh, Mike East is doing. He's uh, 44.7. That is pretty good in comparison to his uh, best best lap of 44.6. So. The 717 uh, Bentley is definitely consistent as working for him right now. Well, 44.6 is the fastest time I can see. Leaders 44.7, 44.8, and 44.9 are your 1, 2, 3 positions. The important thing for East right now, he's got pace on these guys. He's just got to remain patient. He's still got 17 minutes. The last thing he wants, again, faith in your pace. Don't Ooh, yeah. overdrive this car. Don't try to think you can sneak an extra meter under brakes. Don't think you can sneak an extra meter on your accelerator. Stick to your rhythm and you'll catch these yeah. guys. Best bit of advice I ever got. Now again, Thornton, he has closed in on the back of Herbert. That little reprieve for Herbert, it has not been a long lasting reprieve. As they tip into the stadium section one more time. And oh, Thornton, he's right on him. That would have been a ballsy overtaking opportunity there. This is quite good actually, because we've got. Because <coughs> East is. He's catching everyone. So, last laps, he was fastest by point four, near on half a second. He's at about, and he's a, wee, he's a few seconds back, but Here comes 15 minutes to go. He's had a much better run out of turn one. He's actually level with Herbert. Who's gonna be last of the late break? It's gonna to be tough to beat the Lambo on the brakes. They do touch, and Thornton goes wide. Herbert does give him room, eventually. But uh, neither one of these guys really wanted to let that go. Got East on the back of Van Vliet as well. Yep. Yeah, caught him. Also want to keep <coughs> an eye on uh, P10 and P11, Robertson and Noble. They're starting to get pretty close and comfortable with each other. As I thought we are going to see a set oh, there. The... Yeah, as I say, East will be loving first and second, having a battle, so being defensive line, slowing them down while he, uh, he, he picks off third. Halfway and through the race, uh, I think just personally, if I was in Van Vlaay's position, I would not be fighting East too hard at this stage. East no, has no clearly point. got the faster car. Letting him through might actually be a good thing for Van Vlaay, because uh, East can then catch Thornton and Herbert, and maybe slow those two guys down, and then suddenly Van Vlaay is definitely fighting for the win. If that made any sense whatsoever. Ooh. Oh, that got yeah. very tight. That got very yeah. tight. Let's <laughs> have a look at the back of that Lambo. Let's have a good look at uh, where that V10 is screaming from at the moment. But, uh, the Bentley, I'm a little bit surprised. I thought the Bentley would be a lot faster down the front straight than the Lambo, but I suppose it's a big, thick car. Yeah, Lambo's just, Lambo's quick. 
got Thornton or almost collecting Herbert just coming into turn three. Oh, here that we was go. pretty close. Here comes the sand. I, I'm sensing it. It's going to be here. It's going to be at this section of the track. That's where we're going to start seeing Thornton really uh, shoving it up the inside of Herbert. Maybe even turn five. Turn five is a good place to sell a dummy. And then just absolute absolute dive bomb of the century. Tell you what, it has been a great race between these two. Oh, Herbert, we just jumped on board with him. He get, gets it all wrong through the uphill right-hand sweeper. This might be the move for Thornton, the move he was waiting for. But, uh, geez, again, no, he's run wide, and we're going for a switchback for Thornton. Thornton now takes the inside, and he will take the lead of the race. Herbert tries to fire back, and he Ooh, gets it all sideways. Him this now brings Van Vlay into the battle and east. So we'll see if uh, Herbert can keep keep up with Thornton. I have a funny feeling that this is the last we're going to see of Thornton in this race. He will just drive away from these guys. Yeah, he did well. We held him up for, for a good 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> well, it was just... He just touched the kerb going through the chicane, and I don't think the Lambos even like the flat kerbs that much. And well, even, even in a car that likes the kerbs, that particular kerb that will just unsettle you and spit you out. We'll be able to see what a clear ear lap he can put down from Thornton. Right on board with East for now. So he's going to be pretty keen to get on with it and go for second. He's got to get around this 424 Lambo. I'm happily to um yeah I'm happily yeah I'm happy to say that I've uh, acquired dinner. <laughs> what? What are you eating? A bit of steak. Can't go wrong with steak. Good. Nah, can't go wrong with steak. Fair, it's fair. <laughs> oh, Easter, uh, um, just thought about a move there. He's just doing exactly what Thornton was doing not that long ago to Herbert. He's just uh, just moving around the mirrors of Vendelay. So I think Vendelay's got the tail up. He's uh, very hungry to take a bite out of the Herbert Lamborghini. Meanwhile, we'll just have a look at what lap time Thornton can manage. So he gets into a 44.8, not quite the fastest lap he's done or the fastest lap of the race. But uh, compared to a 45.2 for Herbert and 45.3 for both East and Van Vlay. Um, yeah, that, that's quick. At this time of the race, that's a quick time. No one else is doing 44s. Well, Thornton has done a very good job of looking after those tyres. He has pretty well done everything that we told him to do. You know, mentally, here comes Ascend. Oh, Van Vlaer was awake to it. Oh, he almost got it under. <laughs> Quick snaps. Actually, was, some of the guys were, were really changing the direction real quick. Like, some of the guys in the, uh, I don't mean, let's say, like, Bath Bathurst was the last one I remember. And the shifting of lanes and twitchings were, were super quick. The jumping across the track, we almost thought they would, they would, they would falling off the bloody track. They have super twitchy, super twitchy cars. You say the Bentley and the and the Lambo here just jiggle like that. Oh, he's gone for the sender on the outside. This will be almighty if he pulls it off. Can't quite get it done. I, I, I'm liking this though from East. He's uh, he's trying every unorthodox uh, thing from the book. Even some unorthodox things he is making up on the fly. You can see the rear of the uh, of the 424 Lambo is uh, it's it's starting to twitch around a little bit. Uh, I think from memory, the the Audi and the Lambo 
are a bit rough on the rear tyres. Here he's again. Moves left, moves, low. moves right, <laughs> moves left. Oh, look at this big send around the outside. He's got the inside line for turn number two, though. And oh. no, he has to get out of it. He must have touched, he must have touched. He's re that was, redacted. Uh, well, I think, I think he, uh, he initiated the Bentley driver code of uh, being a gentleman and uh, just bucked out of it. I think if he Get kept... a quick look in the glove box. <laughs> <laughs> Had to readjust oh, the, yes, the must driving cap. <laughs> I must readdress if I take contact. <laughs> So that was a beautiful out swinging uh, wide into into apex maneuver from a defensive inline position there fantastic oh, absolutely loving it it's it's unorthodox it's it's Ooh. weird oh drive through penalty for herbert he has exceeded track Whoa, limits one too many crazy. times and he has got the mighty pen uh oh geez well coming on start for the herb yeah, I think just getting a little bit unsettled by uh, Thornton. Bit of an unknown Ruffled. driver for him. See the bent, the, uh, the the old Vanny there. He's getting uh, a bit roughy. The second, uh, the second outer apex going a bit, going a bit deep. So he's trying to push a wee bit more. Well, he really it's cost him, I reckon. Well, he checked up really. Oh, jeez! Oh God! I'll tell you what, if I turned on my face cam, you'd just see me cringing so hard at just how close East is getting to the back of the Lambo. But I was just about to make the point, going to the stadium section, it looked as though Van Vallee really, uh, really checked up hard. I think he's just starting to have a few tyre wear issues. And it's... Here we go again, it's round two. Well, there's that last lap, 144.4, fastest lap of the day. Oh, here comes East. He's going to set him up after turn three. Going for the switch back. He's got him this yeah, time. He's running straight underneath. Oh, he's going to keep it. Where's no, he's pull? not. Van Vallee's going defensive. East to the outside again. Oh, they touch. Ooh. A little bit of contact. And now again to the outside goes East. Van Vallee's got the ideal line. He's just going to park it on the apex and prevent that switch back for East. I'll tell you what, oh, here comes East now. for that, isn't it? Oh, just had to pull out of it. He didn't quite have enough of an overlap. Great exchange from these two. Medford's going to be watching this, and he's he's got to be looking at the time left. We've just ticked over six minutes to go, and he's just probably rubbing his hands together saying, come on, guys, keep fighting, keep fighting, bring me into this. East again with that aggressive change of line, and he gives him a nudge, and around oh, goes Van Vlay. And He'd still be <laughs> who's uh, who's the big winner out of that? Jared Medford and Bracken as well. He will uh, he will move up into a podium position as well. So Sam Bracken, good drive from him. I hate to say it, but I did kind of see that contact happening a mile away between uh, East and Van Vallee. East was starting to get a little bit a little bit aggressive with his change of directions and his braking. But you can't fault him for trying, that's for sure. So Van Vallee uh, rejoins the race in fifth, East in sixth. They've just got Cameron Norris just behind in seventh. I'll just notice this, a little bit off topic, but uh, DCTH, what does that mean? Actually, wait, hang on. Is it safe for the stream? I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> Let everyone's imagination fill that one out. See if East can uh, get onto the back of Van Vallee again. I really do think that this line here that Vallee is taking, that's probably inviting uh, East to have a nibble. Here we go yeah, again. They'll, they'll be back on it. They'll be back on it. He's on him now. 
staring down the uh, the exhaust of the Lambo going, here we go again. I swear I just saw this one lap ago. Oh! Tell you what, the rotation of this Lambo is unbelievable. And incidentally, John Slow has just picked up a drive-through penalty, so... The night is not getting much better for, for Slow. That'll be for track limits as well. He's just got a good run. Side by side, uh, that Lambo should just pull ahead slightly down the front straight. Well, it looks like East is trying to get the side draft. Don't know how much damage is on the 424 Lambo. And uh, no, they haven't changed positions <laughs> yet. Oh, this is great stuff from these guys. And now finally East gets his man. So Mike East up to fifth. We ruined that little uh, mistake at the hairpin. So check in with our championship leader, Robertson. He's uh, managed to pick up quite a few places. He's up to ninth, and he's just closing in on the back of Huddy in the McLaren. So. He's significantly faster too. He's uh, he's ripping out a lot of time out of the driver in front. Looks like uh, he's got a little bit of damage on the front of the. Uh, Merc. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's a little bit of damage. It's not it's not loose though, so it's probably not more than. 15, 20 seconds. Yeah. Could be right. Yeah, she'll be right. Good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, speaking of which, I might. I have a sneaking suspicion that there may be some damage on uh, on this car as well, just on the back of it. Uh, it's actually looking uh, quite good. Uh, hang on a second. I did not notice that. It, does the Lambo have four of No, that's not four of course. Sorry, I just got a little bit distracted there. Where'd you get the other two from? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> there's, there's two. You know what, never mind, it's not important. No, no, uh, you, yeah, you know. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, let's we'll, just we'll explain this later. We'll explain this for the starter yeah. motor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> First night jitters. First night jitters. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I do a much better job than this normally. It's got a second motor in it. <laughs> oh, wastegate ports, straight to the atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, also, uh, shout out to... Because uh, I've missed a lot of follows. Uh, shout out to Amzia... Oh, God, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to absolutely stuff this one up. Amzia Razmi... Uh, Ferrex36 and Old Man Parksy, thank you very much for the follows, guys. Every every uh, little follow is um, very much appreciated. So, right on cue, David Thornton started his final lap, and this has been a great drive from him. Good spirited battle with uh, with Herbert, and Herbert has actually oh yes, he's had he's had a drive through. That's right. Yeah, he's back down on the 10th. Yep. I should say that last lap, it's still, uh, well, he's 145.4, starting to slow down, but the boys are going to need to be doing mid 44s if they're going to be close in the next in the next race. Well, it's, uh, Thornton is going to rip them. So, so reverse, he starts from 10th, so there's only 14 remaining. 14 remaining, yeah, so there's going to be this, the top 10 in front. Should be interesting when I mean, you've got a, that sort of a, a speed well, difference with this kind of track with your, your lefts, your rights, and your doubles. Well, with all of those uh, positional strategies to get into outside running line, yeah. Honestly, I'll tell yeah. you right now uh, reverse grid for Thornton will not face him. He, 
obviously he's been doing a lot of AK racing V8 supercars where they were doing um, uh, reverse grids and he would just pick his way through he'd, he'd go with the best of them like uh, Matt Cotter he by the end of the first lap he'd usually be up in the top five uh, incidentally John Slow has received a stop go penalty 10 seconds and he'll be uh, ready to just park it I think but one man who's uh, not ready to park it I think he's ready to keep going for another 30 minutes is uh, David Thornton as he crosses the chest for crosses, the yeah. flag. well done Congratulations, good win, good win. Uh, Chris Bradley uh, lapped down, unfortunately, in the Nissan. Uh, but it is Jared Medford who will come home in second. Just behind him will be Sam Bracken in the sole Porsche. So that is a great... I guess they picked up the pieces from the, the battle between East and Van Valet. Macbeth home in fourth. Then we have East. Uh, it's just... Oh, God. There we go. Drawing camera can uh, pick up the rest of the field as they go past Robertson on the back of Huddy, just not able to get past him. Herbert will be ruining it that stop-go penalty. Um, that great battle between uh, Herbert and Thornton. And uh, last few cars crossing the line, uh, Noble, and then we're waiting on Waddle to finish the field. So let's uh, head back to the garage and we'll just uh, have a look at some... The results, the official results. There we go. 16 seconds the gap between Thornton and Matterford. And that is looking ominously familiar. Certainly no stranger to saying uh, a 16 second gap between Thornton and whoever's in second. So, uh... Naptic, any surprises for you? Were you expecting someone to do better? Anyone to, you were expecting to do worse? Or has someone surprised you, perhaps? Not surprised at all. Not surprised at all? Yeah. Okay. It was, it was pretty... It was about as you, as you could have thought. The boys did their thing about the three-quarter. They cut the spun out some bits and pieces, so it was pretty much as the, as we, as the crow fly. It was pretty good. I suppose while we are waiting we might as well go through the replay and actually break down what happened what on earth happened in the, on lap number one so so we'll quickly just fly over to turn number one and two and then we'll try and fast forward it here we go so the field's streaming down now keep an eye on the bmw it's caught on the outside you just see him just get a little hip and shoulder, and then he finds those uh, those uh, curbs there, and there's a McLaren involved in it. And unfortunately, he gets uh, tangled up in an accident he sort of uh, sort of caused. So, uh, racing incident, I would say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some. <laughs> oh no, I think I just left the server. Why did I do that? Yeah, I did. So I'll, uh, I'll just jump back in again. <laughs> Professional streamer. Professional streamer. In fact, I'm just going to give myself a bin for that. Green light. Do as I can. There we yeah, go. Mine's still good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, we are uh, back into it. Let's get the broadcast hub up so first car on track is Regan Herbert so this is basically just a formality isn't it yeah yeah just to shake it out uh, good opportunity maybe just to go out and just um, maybe test something quickly you reckon oh not really it's only one yeah, you might have had a niggle could have had a niggle on that first race like maybe a bit tighter on them just something a change that may suit your competitors well, it's you know, you might know, you'll know, you'll know where, where old Thornton had him, had him in a spot or something rather, and might want to adjust that area. Well, I did point out a little bit earlier in the race while uh, he was leading Thornton that he uh, looked as though he had a little bit of un uh, oversteer, sorry, on turning while on the brakes. So maybe just need to yeah, dial it. Me. Maybe just dial it out. Yeah, dial a little bit more understeer. He'll know his Lambo pretty well, so... 
I'd say you'll be able to pin, you know, give it a click where it needs to. Give it the rusty click. Keep adjusting your car till race time. familiar with this uh with this oh, reagan please don't bin it please don't bin it you're the only one on track uh, i do believe actually octane used to run this uh this qualifying format so yeah it's, it's pretty good yeah that's his way there's no reason to do a second uh a second quali you know sort of qualifying's qualifying it's done the races that qualify for the next race, yeah. No reason to do another one. Well, that's that's it. I'm not quite uh, not quite on board with qualifying for every single race of the of the season. Yeah, Nipplik uh, confirming that, doing lap to, lap to set himself as the race starter since he finished in tenth, not last, tenth. So that's exactly what uh, Octane was doing. Yeah, they, they can't code it like uh, like race room can you can set it up in your server you just do it um, I'm actually very surprised that Kunos hasn't um, incorporated that because uh, you can do it in uh, the original set of Corsa uh, okay Nipley uh, that's actually Macbeth Ah, this is good. I'm learning people's names. This is good. You got something for Thornton? I mean, he's, he's showing you up in the Lexus, Nipley. As Regan will stop the clock. 46-4. Eh, you're never going to do your best lap on, on the first lap for sure. Yeah, he doesn't have to. I'd say it's the only one doing it. Oh, there we just go. Just drive around. So now we just got to wait for the uh, clock to tick down and we can see uh, see the chat. Looks like uh, John Slow is having a bit of uh, problems with his pedals. That always That's always unfortunate. I do like it, though. I do like it. You know, it's that... It's that thing that can happen to a real race. So, you know, what? cars have their funny quirks on the day, on race day. So it's kind of cool that the, say, sim racers can have mechanical failures on race day. It's kind of, I kind of find it, like, appropriate. <laughs> well, actually, a funny story, because I actually did a... I've done a few endurance races with Octane. Uh, the first one I did was at Nürburgring in the Aston, and... One of my, one of my teammates, his, uh, his, for whatever reason, when he jumped into the car, to to do his stint, he couldn't downshift. He could, oh, he could savage. Uh, he could jump out of the server. He could jump into a single player game, and he could downshift easily. But he jumps into the server, and he can't downshift. Absolutely bizarre, and it, and it just. That was the end of our race because we uh, obviously had stint times and stint limits. So, hmm. I think I remember. Do I remember that? Do I remember that? Do you remember that? I remember something like that. I remember someone. Yeah, could you hear the, the unfortunate stories coming through the channel? We can't downdraft. Yeah, been, uh, been in a few, a few octanes. Raced in a few, commentated for a few there. Yeah, I have to say, full credit to, to Neil and what he's actually built over there. Um, absolutely blown away what, by what he has, has achieved over there with Octane. I think he's achieving, what, 400 viewers? Here I am with my 15. <laughs> start somewhere. Start somewhere. Absolutely. Yeah. But, um... be 
doing my first appearance in Octane for a long time tomorrow night. I'm not going to have fun. <laughs> it's Monza. I hate Monza with a passion. One of those tracks, eh? One of the, it's just... <laughs> ah, the track just bores me. It, it, it's all straight, and then you just brake, do a few turns, then you straight again. Do a few turns, straight. It's just... Uh, you got at 90 degree turns, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> As Regan sets off to start the warm-up lap. Now, what will happen here is uh, the field will get called out one by one, and they'll line up behind Regan. And in fact, Regan's just going to park it at turn one. Wait for everyone to, uh, to turn up. Yeah, yeah, Piper hates Monza as well. See, it's not just me. It's not just me. The only thing exciting about Monza is going like deep into that last sweeper. How deep you can go. I will, that's about I, it. Uh, I will say I like Ascari. Ascari's fun. But that's it. The, re the, re the rest <laughs> of the track can just burn. <laughs> I, I've just seen my followers drop. That must be all the Italians. <laughs> <laughs> All the Monza lovers. See you later. <laughs> Mizano's good. I love Mizano. There we go. Saved it. Yeah. <laughs> Come back. Come back. <laughs> Imola. Imola. I love I Imola. Love. Imola's great. I did the Enduro there not long ago. And before that, it was one of those tracks I wasn't very good at. But there's nothing better to get yourself liking a track as to do an Enduro at it. Rusty's a flog, but other than that, it was a bloody good day out. <laughs> two-man team, it was good. Oh, that would have been brutal. I, I actually did a, um, a two-man enduro with uh, with my brother at Spa. Uh, Eau Rouge confirmed. I hate Eau Rouge. That's like the most iconic corner in the world. How, oh, no. how could you hate uh, something so amazing? Because uh, the GTR would handle <laughs> it's claimed you, isn't it? <laughs> so anyway, let's run through the starting order for race number two. We have Herbert on pole, then we have Robertson second. Row two will be Huddy and Norris, Van Vallee and East. Uh, they're going to be side by side. Uh, oh, that's going to be fireworks. I'll, I'll get someone to keep an eye on that. Uh, Macbeth and Bracken <laughs> in... On row four, then we have Matterford and Thornton, row five. Noble, Waddle and Bradley and Slow will round out the runners. I think we have lost Rice for the night. Which is a bit of a shame. I mean, sometimes you do just need to... If you have a, if you have a rough night and you're just angry, best to just walk away. Yep. Um... Dildo in your chat says that Paul Ricard is the best track. I, I hate the track limits at Paul Ricard, but that's actually an enjoyable track. I agree with that. It's not the best, but it, it's fun. It's enjoyable. Except for track limits. <laughs> I do not like Paul Ricard one single bit. Apart from the straight bits, actually. That's the one the good thing. That big, long straight. I, I like that straight, too, because the GTR is just so quick. Anyway, the field is bunched up. We are set for a start. Um, not the best formation, not going to lie. We've still got drivers sorting out their positions. That's ugly, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we are away and racing one of the weirdest looking uh, formations ever. Thornton in the background has had an absolute shocker of a start, but I mean, that's GTR. In fact, he is backing right out of it. As uh, we prepare to go 3-4 wide with Norris up the inside of Van Vlay. And the Bentley of East as well getting in there. Oh, that was Alexis of Macbeth. A little bit unstable over the curbs. And i tell you what, Thornton's had a shocking start. He's right down the back by the looks of things. Let's see if we can find him. There he is, he's right at the back. So I don't know what's happened there. You got swamped by one of the Nissans as we watching one of the Nissans get mm. very out of shape. Oh, we've had oh, a God. bin oh. and 
Whoa, that was that was close. I mean, it was close. It's close, but Thornton at least uh, will give that two bins out of five. So that's John Slow who's been turned around, unfortunately, in the Bentley. But anyway, our leader is Regan Herbert, and he will be loving this. He's got a decent gap between himself and, well, a lot of cars between himself and Thornton. He can just focus on his rhythm, but uh, I'll tell you what, Robinson is keeping him honest. He's going with him. And I thought I saw Van Blay really wide at the hairpin. He's dropped yeah, he right. went for a bit of a send there. We got this angry gaggle of cars. We got uh, Norris, Medford, Noble, and Bracken all nose to tail. Then we got the two Nissans holding up the Lexus of Thornton. So. I'm about to get uh, predictions from you guys actually for this race. Uh, who are we liking for, for race two? Well. Even even if he's at the back, I think Herbert's pace bet you being 16 seconds ahead at the end of it would be well enough to say yeah, say get your way through easy days, hokey dory. I think if East gets his space though, if he gets his run, he's going to run. He's going to run hard. He's going to run way faster than Dylan ever would, even with his unbroken ankles. Old dildo there, and uh, and I think. That would be good. I reckon if he can get away and and say Thornton's held up a bit, I reckon he's I reckon he's good good shape. Uh, I'm sensing a little bit of a love hate thing going on between you and Dill. Oh, oh we got a car. We got a car off the track. <laughs> uh, that is the number three of Robertson. No way. He was the only one keeping uh, Herbert honest. Oh, you're joking. We're gonna have to go to an instant replay to find out what on earth happened to the number four. I think he is. Where is he? No, oh, there he is, number three. three. So, what happened? Oh, snap over stick. You know what? That is a typical Mercedes nonsense. I uh, did one of the fun races with the uh, Octane that was in the Mercedes. I hated every second of this car. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, Easter's managed to take uh, second place. Huddy and... Oh, who is that? That's uh, Macbeth. Yeah, they're going side by side. Easton Herbert. Up the top. Also got Matterford just uh, ranging up onto the back of Norris, heading into turn number one. A little bit of uns instability there for Matterford. And well, my Thornton watches up into the top ten already. He's at the at the head of the second peloton. In fact, uh, I think that's Van Vlay. What, what happened to Van Vlay? He's a uh, he's dent in. He's in team. Yeah. He's down at, Oh, he's got damage on the front of this car. He has got a lot of damage on this car. Look at that. For those of you playing along at home, that is not what the front of your Lamborghini is meant to look like, and he cannot turn this car. <laughs> Who wants to bet that's a turn one thing? That's got to be a turn one thing. I thought the turn, well, yeah, I was at the, like the, the start race, I thought uh, yeah, the, the last lap. <coughs> I'd say he's got stuck in the back of someone going into the chicane here. Might be into the back of Huddy. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that is... Uh, oh, that is... Uh, no, we don't want to quit. We just want to quit the replay. <laughs> so bad. It's, it's been a while. Look, it's been a while since I streamed to set a course of Competizione. Um, so I'm going to have to award that a golden pin for... Uh, for Paul Van, Van Vlay. Uh, <laughs> uh, Dildo, remember the time you ran out of fuel on my numbers? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, good data. Good data. <laughs> <laughs>
Don't trust Dill with your uh, with anything fuel related. Anything. Got uh, benefit and honey. Oh four. yep, yep. Big send there for Matterford, and he's got the move done. Meanwhile, we got a big gaggle of McLarens here. Uh, Norris and Noble side by side. Bracken's just holding station. In fact, Bracken, he's had a he's had a go. Thorn's right behind him as well. Yep, Thorn's involved. I'll tell you what's cool. The back of the Porsche at night, you can see the exhaust uh, glowing red hot. I love that. That is so cool. You'll see it on the uh, the Lambo, the Merc, uh, and the uh, McLaren. I've got their nice pipes out the middle of the cave. You'll be able to see them glowing away nicely. Pipes see them all over. Okay. The little in innuendo there, it's still G-rated, it's still G-rated, family friendly stream. The kids won't get it. Oh, Bracken runs a little bit wide, now Thornton is, uh, he's hunting. See how wide Bracken can make this Porsche. Now, Vili will be livid. Vili was uh, 168 points in the series. Second and third were like 174 and 170. So he was right on the castle podium. But Robertson, he was on, he was on top, but he's in, so he's in third now, uh, tenth now. He didn't really get a good run, so the points are going to get a bit of a shake up. We got Maddy, he's up there, Mad. Ooh, he's in second place in the series once with the 174 so yes it's gonna show it shake it up a bit check down mm. uh, in case anyone was uh doubting whether the lexus had any straight line poke uh, i think thornton just tore off a lot of the paintwork off the portion of the rack and down the front straight but, uh, that thing is moving rather quickly Honestly, it's, it doesn't bode well for me tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to really hold a candle to Thornton. Oh, well. He's got a bit of work to do. He says his last laps have been 145 and uh, best lap 145, 146 for, his, for Thornton's best lap. But the boys at the front, Herbert and East, they're rocking best laps of 144.9. 144.8 and currently doing 146, 145. So he's not really gaining on them. He needs to start making some gains. He'll do it with clear air, but it needs that clear air. Um, what's the pace between East and Herbert? Because I think that gap is coming down between our two leaders. The last lap, uh, Herbert made 0.6 of a second. It's about. Yeah, it's about four second gap at the moment. Three point, about three point seven. Five point eight jumps around a bit. This is shaping up to be a good battle as well. We got Matterford on the back of Macbeth now. Beth is doing everything he can to keep uh, flying Aston behind him. Head down the hill towards the, uh, the back section of the circuit. <coughs> I don't think we've ever driven the Lexus. Is it, have you guys uh, had a had a go on it? Uh, no. I, I, I'd spend too much time trying to get the GTR to you'd, work everywhere. You're dancing all day. Yep. <laughs> I think we'll see a lot more people jumping into the Lexus though after tonight. The way Thornton is uh, driving, <laughs> yeah. he's, uh, he's still on the back of uh, Norris. In fact, uh, he's gotten around Noble. Bracken's followed him through. Now he's uh, chasing down Norris. And, uh, we're focusing on this battle for the podium. Oh, Macbeth slaps that sausage curb through the chicane. That's not going to help him. Here we go, so Macbeth now is 
Well, the Lexus has got a fair bit of poke in a straight line, even with the slipstream. Matterford can't really get into position to attack at turn one. And even on the brakes, uh, the Lexus. I've heard a lot of people rate the stability of the Lexus uh, under brakes up there with the likes of the GTR. But the Aston's not too bad on the brakes either. Well, it's going around the outside of um, Norris here to turn four. Yes, he is. He's uh, running very wide. Norris just sort of escorts him out a little bit wide, but gives him space on the exit. And Thornton will make this move, I think, stick. But Norris isn't going to let him have it easy. And, well, at the end, he does have to let him have it. So a good little exchange there between Thornton and Norris. And uh, we'll definitely be keeping an eye on Thornton's progress as the race continues. Back to this battle for third. And if it's still just not able to do anything. And to be fair, he's trying to fit an Aston beside that uh, that Lexus. The Aston's uh, it's a little bit thick. And we've just got over 17 minutes left in this race. Your leader is still Regan Herbert. The gap between himself and Mike East has sort of stabilised around the three and a half second mark. But we're watching this battle as Matterford just gets it all wrong going through turn one. I think he uh, just tried to cheat a little bit of an extra metre under brakes and uh, that sort of backfired on him. Honestly, in this battle, I, I'm, I'm thinking Macbeth is, uh, well, I'm liking Macbeth a little bit more here. He's uh, just looking at the behaviour of that Lexus. It's certainly a lot less ragged than what the, uh, the McLaren, sorry, the Aston is. See, Madison, he's just throwing it all over the track. So... Certainly not having faith in his pace. Gotta have it. You gotta have it. We've got Thornton coming onto the back of Huddy at the moment. He's actually made quite a lot of ground the last two laps. He certainly has. I'm sort of keeping tabs on him in the background there. May swap over to him. See if he can... Uh... Huddy just drives in a little bit too hard into the chicane. I think this will be an easy move for Thornton. Oh, he had to get out of it. <laughs> that was pretty close. That was extremely close. Uh, been avoided, Ooh. but... Uh, He's he... coming back. Oh, well strong. Beep, beep. Oh, Puts little... his nose in. Oh, I think it got shut down there. Still Ooh, got the nose in. He's backing out of it. Huddy doesn't know where he, where he is. <laughs> I go for it again here. Here we go. Send. That was uh, that's a decent send, but uh, Huddy's not going. He, he's arguing. He just wants to hold on to a top five, and he's not going to do it. So Thornton just sweeps down in front of Huddy and takes fifth place from last, essentially. And that little exchange, that will bring Norris, Noble and Bracken into the battle for sixth. Check in on uh, our favourite battle here between Medford and Macbeth. Yeah, he's got to get going. He's got... If he wants to get up there, for 14 minutes remaining. He needs to get rocking. Got a clear here, got a wee bit of clear. Who is he? Is he 15? 16. 
Yeah, you've got a bit of gear, got a bit of gear. Tell you what, Macbeth is driving absolutely brilliantly here. He is just. He doesn't appear to be too stressed by uh, Matterford behind him. He's just hitting his marks, hitting his braking points, picking the throttle up consistently. This is absolutely perfect defending from Macbeth. And you see, he's, he's not really having to defend or block at all. Jeez, 13 and a half minutes, that's a long time to defend. As we see, Matterford yeah. thinking about the move. He's got it, I think. Indeed he does, perhaps. We'll see if uh, Macbeth can fire back. So no, Matterford finally gets the move done. That was a great little battle between uh, these two guys. Benefit on top at the moment. I have to say, this battle is uh, starting to look really, really tasty. We've got Huddy, uh, Noble, Norris, and Bracken. We have a four way battle for sixth, pl uh, sixth place. Yeah, Huddy, Huddy will be hanging on the back of Thornton. Catching a bit of a ride, a bit of a good line. Uh, always, uh, always a little bit late. Uh, Two point second, seven seconds. The gap between Huddy and Thornton now. <laughs> That's already gone. <laughs> uh, that was a bit mean of me. <laughs> and, uh, certainly, Thornton is not hanging around. Pretty much on the back of the um, Macbeth as well. Yeah, certainly hasn't hung around. We got Huddy now. It's got uh, Noble right in the slipstream. Noble's closing in slowly. Just doesn't have the legs over Huddy. Well, Huddy will be hoping that maybe it takes him a bit longer to get past Macbeth. He can catch back up a wee bit. Well, that's, that is uh, a possibility. And... Uh, Thornton and Macbeth fight hard enough, yeah, that will uh, bring them straight back to Huddy, but basically what I was saying a bit earlier, if someone's uh, behind you a little bit quicker than you, sometimes it is better just to let them go, and then you know, basically... Tag along. Them, yeah, tag <laughs> along. Yeah. That's how I do it. <laughs> That's how I do it. It's a, it, it's a never-fail strategy. These guys getting nice and close to each other. Right, right on board with uh, Noble. Something I like to point out as well, you can always hear the difference between a really top-notch driver and someone who's uh, not quite top-notch. You can always tell by the, uh, the throttle applications. A driver who is top notch will have full confidence Ooh. and it will just be one throttle application, one brake application. There won't be any like feathering and, and adjusting the throttle percentage. It's just one smooth action. You've got a good ear, my good man. And you also see it in the steering as well. Honestly, no matter what the sport is, from karting all the way to Formula One, the best drivers. It's just one action. So Noble now. We got a send coming here for Noble on uh, Huddy. And they're side by side. Huddy gives him space and he just tucks in behind uh, behind Noble. That's again that's smart driving from uh, from Huddy. Not getting involved in the battle. He's aware that uh, Norris and Bracken are right behind him. So better to lose. Definitely have two actions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 
now it's uh, Cameron Norris's turn. Actually, we're, <laughs> we're going to focus on Dave Thornton because he's on the back of his uh, Lexus compatriot. <coughs> yeah, I've been watching him. I'm just, I just can't understand how he has so much more pace. Like he's just been catching everyone up so quickly. He's a very, very experienced driver in sim racing. As Macbeth makes a little <coughs> mistake, he probably not as probably got a little bit unsettled by how quickly uh, Thornton caught him. That ended up being a very easy pass for Dave Thornton. So Dave Thornton now from last on the grid to fourth. Yeah, he'll catch the boys off guard. They're battling away trying to get past someone, and then holy shit, these the. Uh, his headlights in my, in my mirror. Where did they come from? <laughs> Catch you off guard a wee bit. Oh, oh. Next thing you got to try and do both. You got to try and attack and defend. You don't want to get caught in a a defensive action and while getting passed from behind, you end up losing a bloody couple of spots. No well, one. Here we go, Bracken. He's thinking about a, a bit of a move into turn uh, turn four. Oh, I think he's got it on the exit though, so Cameron Nor Norris loses the position to Sam Bracken. Robertson now, he's uh, climbed onto the back of this battle for essentially what is sixth place. So that's a good recovery from Robertson. was that that's uh Norris what's happened there he's um he's th that's not the track layout that you're supposed to use Cameron he found another route he did um do you reckon that'd be uh track limits and gaining an advantage no oh, if he got out of it he'd be right <laughs> did he take did he take it at full send <laughs> Well, I don't know what happened there. It just looked like the triple uh, six McLaren just went straight ahead. Pulled out. Anyway, an easy, easy move for uh, Robertson. We might go through the replay in a second, just try and work out what happened to Norris. So, uh, meanwhile, Bracken, he's, uh, he's on a bit of a charge as well. Late race charge, six and a half minutes left on the clock. Top three, uh, yes. Six minutes, he's got two seconds to to make up on Matterford. I reckon that gap will come down pretty quickly. I'll tell you what, the battle, uh, the battle for first might be on. Um, East has really closed the gap onto her, but I've sort of been keeping an eye on the gap. And uh, I think the tyres are starting to go on the Lamborghini of Herbert. and wind up the Porsche on the brakes. Can he pull it up? He can indeed, and that is a very good move for Sam Bracken. He moves himself up into seventh. Next on his list will be uh, Noble in the 54 McLaren. <coughs> Actually, I have to say, uh, Thornton's not really closing in on Matterford just yet. I mean, the gap's still at two seconds. So, maybe fourth will be the best that uh, Thornton can hope for. It was half a second quicker than Matterford last lap, so... Yeah. It's probably still on. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's just made up almost half a second for the first sector. East made a few, got a bit of a small gain on uh, on Herbert. But is it going to be enough? Oh, I don't know. Time, one, is, one. time is running out. 
The last lap was 0.1. So if he does, if he keeps at that pace and he doesn't make any mistakes, then he'll, he'll run it out. He'll keep it. Looks like East may have let a little bit go through his last sort of gains that he made. He's just given back. Oh, very in good shape. Oh, Madifitt's made a little mistake. He uh, just locked the rear brake a little bit. Uh, Thornton has uh, closed up almost a second in the in uh, sector one and two. So yeah, I think Thornton he will challenge for a podium. That's for sure. I think it takes skill to lock a rear brake before the front one, honestly. Uh, I don't know. So I haven't. I don't know. But if you're downshifting, yeah, compression lock, it, it can still happen even with auto flip, I think. So doing it, being that I do that all the time, I, I, I think it does take exceptional skill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, talent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, unless your brake bias is all the way to the rear. Actually, Ooh, on that yeah. note, yeah, um, what's surprising me during all my testing for Monster is just how far back I've had to move the, uh, the, uh, the brake bias. And that, that really surprises me. Yeah, Robertson getting past Huddy down the main straight, that flew past the McLaren there, just a bit of a, a bit of a ninth, uh, eighth and ninth swap. Yeah, a bit of a, bit of a formality, do you think? Yeah. Oh, it was, yeah, it was... He did, he did pass him pretty quick. Yeah, between Thornton and Matterford, under a second now. But we are fast running out of time. Probably get, uh, what do you reckon, two more laps in? Yeah. Yeah. East's charge for, uh, for first has sort of stalled. I have a feeling that East is just about ready to surrender and just uh, settle for second. Yeah, gaps back out to two, two seconds between Herbert and East. Yeah. Oh. Gave, uh, gave point three off in the last lap. So. Of it. Oh, geez, that Lexus has got some legs 10 straight. That's incredible. It's ridiculous, but oh, you gotta love it. See the sparks flying from underneath the Lexus as he uh, gets a, grabs a little bit too much curb. Now, can Matterford defend? We've seen him be a little bit ragged in his uh, attack. <laughs> can he keep it nice? Can he keep a nice, cool head? with Thornton bearing down on the back of him. He's going defensive early. It's just looking at the gap there between uh, these two and Macbeth, and I don't think for Medford there is an option of trying to back Thornton into Macbeth. Oh, Ooh. Thornton, a big, big, Ooh. big slide there. Grabbed it off the micro straight at the back these two locked in a decent battle Herbert and East I do we can don't. rip something around Euro Euro car and bloody chicane oh. so Herbert crosses the line with about three seconds left on the clock so we are on the final lap Regan Herbert, your race leader. He's been uh, rather oh. forgotten, unfortunately. He's, uh, he had a decent la uh, gap at the start of the race. And he's just sort of uh, stuck to a fairly decent rhythm. Unfortunately, fortunately for us, fortunately for Herbert, uh, East hasn't really been able to close in on him. Well, I think I'm wrong with... Uh, with East, he hasn't given up at all. He's still at 10 tenths trying to close the gap on Herbert. He made half a second on the last lap. I think, uh, 
I think the Bentley is pretty strong in sector one and two. It's just that final sector. That's where the Lamborghini just uh, comes into its own. So Regan Herbert heads into the hairpin for the final time. He's uh, He's got a safe gap, I want to say, but, uh, well, we've got a strong record with the commentator's curse on this channel. So it shouldn't speak well, half, too early. Half a track to go for Thornton. So... I don't know that Thornton can get onto the podium either. But uh, Regan Herbert will round the final corner and fire the Lamborghini down the uh, main straight to take out the chequered flag, flash the headlights across the line. A great win for Regan Herbert. Second place for Mike East. Checking with this battle for third. Medford, I think he's done enough, although he just gets a little bit greedy with the sausage curve. <laughs> Yeah, Thornton, flash the lights. Thornton's uh, flashing <laughs> the lights. Uh, I don't think that's going to work this time, Dave. And well held, well held. Great. Yeah, that would have been scary having Thornton coming up on so quick. So Jared well Thornton done. holds on to... Thornton also uh, had a um, go pretty on. bad last sector there. Yeah. Rob Noble comes home in times. sixth. A little bit behind uh, Macbeth. So Macbeth manages to salvage a uh, fifth place. Uh, Robertson home in eighth, just behind Sam Bracken. Huddy in ninth, and Cameron Nor Norris. He's managed to scrape through a top ten. Uh, waiting on John Slow. Oh, actually, we got a little Godzilla battle here. Bradley and Waddle. Both competing for honors of the top in this end. Now two AM drivers. Oh, Waddles thinking about ascend. They head into the uh, final chicane, and there's a little touch and another little touch. They bump doors and wheels, but it looks like Waddle has actually he's mugged him. Oh, he's grabbed the curb though, and Bradley is going to take it out. Oh, Waddle! Oh, he just grabbed the, he just touched the curb on the final corner, and <laughs> oh, great. Great uh, exchange there between uh, Bradley and Waddle. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's wrap up this race, man. So uh, Regan Herbert, your winner in race number two, ahead of Mike East. Mike East taking out the fast lap of the race, by the way. Uh, Matterford rounds out the podium after valiant defending from uh, from Thornton. Macbeth in fifth. No, give me back my results. No, give me my results. Jeez. <laughs> Noble in sixth. How do you want to do that? Bracken seventh. Robertson eighth. Huddy ninth. Norris in tenth. Uh, John Slow in eleventh. And then we have Bradley and Waddle in twelfth and thirteenth. Van Vlay, uh, he's he had a shocker. Um, just got... Um, fortunately had a little bit of a contact with... Who was it? I think it was Noble or uh, or Huddy on the second lap of the race, and that put him into the fence uh, big time. So it is what it is. That's what happens. It happens. That's it. It's just your turn. Yep, racing, racing sometimes rules, and racing sometimes sucks. But, uh, Why wins are good. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah hard earned. <laughs> Honestly, for me, finishing is is a win. Finishing without putting myself into the fence. So uh, we can go back and bring up our results. Uh, any surprises there for you? Uh, we can't bring up our, our results. Never mind. Uh. Well. I'll see if there's any uh, anyone down the field that have done. Say we got uh, mobbed. Everyone's it's sort of been pretty pretty good. Everyone should be kind of where they are. We got mobbed. He got fourth. He's just sitting in in ninth place. Uh, yeah, these in the are... series. So that's um that's quite a nice. That'll go well on his points. Uh, no, I don't think mobs actually finished race two. Because we're looking oh, yeah. at, uh, yeah, th these are the, these are not. The I was results. looking at overall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're gonna make the way we were. Oh, yeah. he's already gone. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they won't do well at all. Yeah. Uh, 
Gee, I think uh, probably have to throw it over to chat while for this one, but uh, driver of the race. Uh, I mean, let, let's exclude Thornton, okay, because that's going to be everyone's choice. But uh, who, who would you pick for driver of the race, uh, gentlemen? Well, it won't show up too bad. Well, it's hard to, I mean, oof. Yeah, I don't know. I'd say, like, Medford's race there to take third will go well in his points as in as well as second in the first race and then third in the second that gives him it'll probably almost put him into first place because Robinson was leading he's finished down in eight so that was a big race that was a big night for Mattisford he was about he's 30 odd points behind and however many they get from here so he'll be He'll be right nipping at the heels for first for the for the overall lead of the series. Uh, so that that's a good day out. Herbert, you'd say, pretty 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 decent. You'd almost put a, a pretty safe bet. The only, last time he turned up, he won. But that Mattisford would he, he'd work pretty hard there at the end there to to, to hold it. He's pretty tough. Whoever you want to talk about is pretty good. <laughs> no, that's that's a fair point. I, I think I think we had a lot of close racing out there, and uh, surprisingly, we didn't have too many people binning it. Um, oh, that reminds me. Oh, we, I think it's a bit late, but we can try anyway. We'll try and find a replay and work out what happened to Karen Norris, because I seriously want to find out what on earth uh, happened to him uh, in the latter stages of that race. Let's see if we can. Here we go. Uh, yep, that looks like right. Um, while we're waiting, Craig, uh, maybe give us your, your driver of the race. If he's still here. Is he oh, still I have my Tyler? mic muted. Interesting. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll probably give it to East if it wasn't you um, said not thought whatever yeah I think I think Easter did a very good job trying to close in the gap I think I've found what's happened here oh he's grabbed the grass and off you go actually that's um, in a way that was uh, quite impressive for Cameron because he's uh, managed to keep it off the off the wall like that car was heading to the wall Then he gives us a guided tour of the um, extended circuit. <laughs> That's right. So, yeah, that'll, that'll do from that replay. Uh, so, we have a week off from uh, Shakedown, because they have a bit of a mid-season buy, really. Um, but we will be back on Friday night for GT Club's um, Ford... Focus Super Cup. Uh, where are they racing? They're racing from uh, Circuit Algarve, which is... Uh, that's going to be an interesting track for those cars. Uh, then Saturday night, we have got the second edition of the Shipbox Rallycross titles on Wreckfest, so make sure you follow and <laughs> be uh, be online for that when that kicks off. That's going to be really excited, exciting, I should say. And then Sunday, I think we're also not streaming. While we're waiting for AK Racing to swap over to V8 Supercars, but uh, uh, very much appreciated to Naptic and Tyler for joining me in the commentary box once again. Not a worry, it's good. It's always good to have a yarn and multiple whiskeys. So thank you <laughs> for doing what you do. Well, well, you can't complain about uh, having um, having whiskeys while we're watching uh, sim racing. Or any sort of racing, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it Tuesday works night. well, it works very well. Standard Tuesday night, <laughs> Standard Tuesday. Yeah. So, yeah, now we're going to go and do some rickies with uh, with a few of the other boys. So, I'll say, I'll do it over here. He'll, he'll be wanting a thrashing in that. So, I've got a few of those other fellas here to line up with. So, we're gonna, we're gonna spot out. Um, 
I'll catch us all later and uh, and do it, do it for Ed. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you, Naptic. We'll see you next time. Uh, in saying that, we will uh, wrap up this stream. Again, thank you to Tyler for, for joining us. Uh, shout out to Silragus for the follow. That brings us up to 362 followers. That's not too bad. I'm quite happy with that. Um, again, really appreciate all the follows that we do get. It does mean a lot to me. Um, anyway, we will see you on Friday night for uh, GT Club. And then we will bring you some Wreckfest uh, Rallycross shenanigans. Uh, Tyler, you're going to be taking part in that still. Yep. And in commentating. my trusty couch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and taking part as well. So, uh, yeah, definitely join us for that one because uh, we're going to be, uh, there's going to be a lot of screaming. It's going to be great. All right. I think I'll need a box of tissues as well. <laughs> All right, then. Thank you very much, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, out there in chat. Uh, we will see you next time.